Welcome back to the Blue Chip Breakdown. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, here we take a look at the top high school football players in the entire country. And today we are looking at the number one player in the class of 2024, Mr. Dylan Rayola. Uh, Dylan is a six foot three, 220 pound rising senior. Uh, now he was slotted to go to the Buckeyes um, back on May the 9th, but he since changed his mind on December the 17th when his uncle Donovan um, was held on to the Cornhusker staff by the incoming coach, Matt Rule. So it's been rumored that the Cornhuskers have an outside shot at being able to get Dylan. As you look here, Dylan's father also played there, so he's got some pretty strong ties there. Uh, he started off playing at Burleson High School in Texas, and he's now at Chandler High School that's in Arizona. And I'm just kind of going through his profile here so that y'all can get a look and see what some of the analysts are saying about it. Georgia is actually rumored to be Dylan's favorite school. So he's really leaning towards Georgia. Some people think that he may still end up choosing the Buckeyes. But I think he will be a better fit to go and play with Ryan Day. Just simply because of what their system is and because of what his track record is with top tier quarterbacks. If you look at what Kirby Smart has done with five star quarterbacks, I mean, he's pretty much butchered all of them. So we'll take a look at four of them really quickly just so you can get a good glance at what their stats and all of that was at Georgia and at the other schools that they ended up transferring out to. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna take a look at Jacob Eason's college stats. So as you can see right here, you know, he did a decent job, if you wanna call it that, at Georgia. Um, and after that, he went to Washington and his numbers look a lot better than what they did at Georgia. So that's number one. That's the first one. The second one is Justin Fields. So we can see, obviously, Justin transferred after his freshman season and, you know, they barely even used him. Um, and then, you know, he goes and plays for the Buckeyes and he's putting up crazy numbers and we already know the rest is history. Now, if you want to look at Brock Vandergriff, I mean, he literally has barely even played. Um, he doesn't have, you know, I don't think he's played at all. I mean, he has no stats. Maybe he went into games and was handing the, handing the football off, but he ends up getting beat out by a walk-on. Um, and that walk-on goes on to win two national championships. But he, he did make plays sometimes, but I mean, that was really just because Georgia's team is absolutely loaded. And last but certainly not least, let's take a look at JT Daniels. Now you can see he started at SC. He had pretty good numbers there. He goes to Georgia, his numbers go down. Uh, now his 2019 season, that's when he had that injury. So that's the only reason his numbers were kind of down there. But you know, he goes to Georgia, his numbers are almost cut in half from a yards perspective. Um, and then he goes to West Virginia and his numbers are still higher than what Georgia's are and lower than what they were at USC. So. I think that whenever you just take a look at what Kirby's done with these five star quarterbacks, I'm not quite sure why, but he doesn't manage them well. So I just me, if, if I was a five star quarterback, Georgia would be the absolute last place that I would be thinking about going to. All right. So um, first things first, you can see he's got that big body. I mean, he looks like he could probably be playing in the NFL right now. Uh, you know, 6'3", 220. He's every single bit of it. Um, you know, he's got really nice footwork. He actually kind of carries himself like Patrick Mahomes. So you can see here, he's got really strong legs. And I mean, clearly he's towering over this other high schooler here at this camp. This is him as a sophomore. You know, he's got really good form. You can see the way that the ball flies off his hand. Now look at this here, he's got a beautiful base. You can tell that he's been coached up. Obviously he's been working on his game. I mean, if you just look at him here, it literally looks like already, <laughs> that's, that's how NFL quarterbacks look guys. Um, so for sure, I mean, passes all those tests, really, really great footwork, uh, great posture, throws the ball tall. He has a really short, quick arm motion. Now this is something here that I really wanted to touch on. Watch this. Okay. I'm, I'm going to play this back. Okay. So take a look at the way that the ball comes, comes out of his hand, right? So he throws a very catchable pass. Now. Did you see, watch watch how the ball's getting there, but it's very soft. Now, 
Let's take a look at what Tim Tebow looks like when he's in high school at a, at a similar camp. Now watch the way that he throws this football. It's not very catchable. He throws it too hard. And it's not even just about throwing it hard. It's like a certain spin that the that the really great guys can put on their, their balls. And it's like the, the ball's getting there quickly, but it's almost like a changeup. It's really easy to catch it. So you'll see here, Tim Tebow, I mean, look at that, he just throws a, a rocket. That kid's backing away from it. Now let's take a look at what Tebow's footwork look like. You can see that, I mean, you can see it's such a huge difference. I mean, his base isn't the same, he looks really choppy. Again, look, that kid's backing away every time he throws, look at that. It's close as, look, I mean, look at this. This is almost as bad a form as you could possibly have, right? So I'm just showing y'all this so that y'all can see what the differences are, okay? This is Tebow here, he's left-handed, but he's throwing it like he's right-handed. I mean, look at the way he's throwing it. So, I mean, look, he's bent down. You know, he's not tall when he's throwing it. It's like he's bending down his knees almost to the ground. I mean, he's throwing it with everything he's got in his body. He throws it more like a baseball player and he's not throwing it like a quarterback. You know, you want to throw it so that they can catch it. You want to get it there, but you want to throw it where, you know, it's, it's a catchable pass. So here he is here in high school, have absolutely no idea what that is. Okay, here he is, standing in the pocket, got all day, got all day, getting happy feet, getting happy feet, trying to find somewhere to go. Super slow arm motion, um, you know. So now you can see, obviously, once you go back to Dylan, see how much smoother he looks? Look at that, perfect, perfect form, beautiful ball. The ball hits his peak and turns right over, almost like he's throwing darts. Drops it right in there. Beautiful work, you know, again, he always throws with a with a great base. You see he's throwing those change up balls, the ball's getting there, but look how easily everyone's catching. You see that? It's a totally different thing. Throws it on the run, accurate. This is just him playing around. You can tell he's a great athlete. Yeah, and you know, just watch this, watch his lower body. You know, that's something that these college coaches and NFL scouts are definitely drooling over. Um, I mean, he's got a very strong lower half. He's got strong legs. Look at that. He's able to zip it in there. He's always able to, to get his hips into his throws. Even when he's off of one leg or, you know, if he's jumping up in, in the air. So here he is here. This is a deep ball. This ball looks like it's about 60 yards in the air. Drops it right in the bucket. Perfect pass. Again, looks very polished. Gets to the top of his drop. Steps up throws it right on time, extremely accurate, pinpoint accuracy. Beautiful work. Looks good in the pocket, looks comfortable, stays tall, finds his man, another perfect pass. Drops it in a perfect spot. Same thing here, look at this. Drops it in there very nice. Deep drop. Steps, I mean, look at the way he just threw that. He threw that off of one foot and it's, you know, literally inches away from the cornerback right there. And then look, oh my gosh, this is daily accurate. Okay, so this pass is probably somewhere around, I'll say 45 to 50 yards in the air. And watch how accurate this is. He throws it from one hash all the way to the corner of the end zone. And this is what I meant when I was talking earlier about the way that his balls hit its peak and then it turns over, drops right into the bucket like he's throwing darts. It's just beautiful. It's gonna go right over this safety. I think this is a corner. It's gonna go right over this cornerback's head and drop right into this wide out hand. Look at that. I mean, that's definitely college throws. That's, that's high level college stuff. That's NFL stuff all day. Looks good in the pocket. Now look at this here. Avoiding in the traffic, throws it off one foot. Looks like somebody else we know. Looks like somebody we know. <laughs> Look, very, very similar games. Uh, he's got the same haircut. Got uh, She's about the same size right now. So that's kind of why you keep hearing people saying that, oh man, this, this guy is, it's gonna be great. Mm. Dro again, drops it right into the bucket. Beautiful work. Great footwork on I mean, his feet are always great. That, that right there, he had pressure right in his face. 
Again, he's got pressure right there at his feet. Steps up, makes a very accurate pass. This is a great angle here. Look at look at this. I mean, throws that with pretty much all arm. Very accurate. Gets the top of his drop. Just drops. I mean, he just drops it in there. That's he has such great touch. Great touch. Uh, he's very accurate. Clearly, he's got a, a strong arm. He's mobile. Uh, he's mobile in the pocket. He doesn't really look to run. Look at my goodness. I mean, let's let's go back. Okay, he's throwing this to the left side of the field from the right side of the field with someone right in his face. Again, that was pretty much all arm. Look, it does it again. It's almost like he's throwing the alley. You boy, it drops it right in there. Beautiful, beautiful work. Another one, you know, jumps up, throws it with that touch. He's just got a certain, there's a certain type of touch that you want with quarterbacks, and he's definitely got it. Um, he's not afraid to throw the ball in traffic, which is good. I mean, that's something that quarterbacks have to have because once you get to, to college, those windows get so much smaller. You have to be able to throw it in coverage sometimes. And uh, Dylan does that very well. Look at that nice pump fake. Does a good job avoiding the rush. Again, throws it off of one foot, and it's very accurate. Doing the same thing here, making plays. Oh, look at that. I mean, just <laughs> deadly accurate. So he's he's accurate from a lot of different body positions. My gosh. Um, yeah, I mean, it's that's that's a huge thing, you know. So clearly there there are a, a few little things that he needs to clean up in his game, just like any other player coming out of high school. So um you know, I think he needs to do a, a better job. I, I just said about throwing the ball in coverage, but sometimes he does tend to force it just to taste. Depending on the depending on the college system, the coach will try to get him out of that. But, you know, if, if I'm coaching him, I wouldn't really do too much of that because he's going to make a lot more plays uh, than he's going to give to the other team. Again, does a great job stepping up. Extremely accurate pass. Throws it inside of a small little square window. Now watch his hips here. See that he loads them up. Loads up his hips. I'm going to go back. Watch the way. Look. Loads up his hips. Anticipates. Sees that window's there. Throws a very accurate pass. And he doesn't even put everything into that pass. That goes back to the touch. Does the same thing there. You can, as we're going through it, so you see he loads it up. Boom. Throws the dart. So, you know, like I said, I mean, he can, if, if he has time, he's accurate. If he doesn't have time, he's accurate. Going to his right, he's accurate. Left, doesn't matter. Going backwards, going forwards. Uh, he can make all the throws. Look at this, avoiding, avoiding. Throws it with all arm. Very accurate pass. Here he is here on a little flea flicker. Got all day. Look at that means again, throwing darts, or he's almost like he's shooting arrows. Some of these passes, it's just beautiful how accurate he is. Again, you know, NFL type throws. He's very very polished. This is a guy. He could be a he could be a day one starter at most programs. Not sure where he's going to end up at, but. You know, I think maybe that could be why he's leaning towards Georgia. Uh, you know, he feels like he can come in and start. But like I said, I mean, most schools in this country, he's already better than a lot of college quarterbacks. Another that's that's those that's those deep outs that everyone drools over. Got to be able to make those deep outside passes. He's definitely, you know, like I said, he's got the he's got the arm strength and the arm talent. I mean, look at this. I want to go back to this just to kind of highlight again what I mean. So this linebacker comes underneath this out. Now watch his touch. Watch how he's able to place the ball over this linebacker's head and drop it right in the bucket. Look, I mean, not just over his head, over his arms and, and everything. Rolling out to the left, gets his hips squared back around, makes a great pass. So that is Mr. Dylan Rayola. I'm stoked just to see where he's going to end up at. 
Not sure as far as a time frame when he's when he's planning on letting the world know where he's going to end up at. But whoever ends up getting him is definitely getting a serious baller. It's a guy who could possibly win a Heisman Trophy. He looks like a national championship quarterback. Looks like he's going to be a first round draft pick for sure. Might be the, the number one player picked. So wish him all of the best. And thank you all for tuning into this channel. Thank you for tuning into this episode. Please give me a like and also make sure to hit that bell. I'm going to go through the top 100 players in the 2024 class. So if you want to stay up to date on all of my videos as they drop, make sure to hit that bell and uh, you can always stay up to date. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and put the link for my most recent video if you would like to take a look at that. And uh, you can expect for the next player, KJ Bolden, to be coming out here shortly. Thank y'all, peace.